All right, we are pleased to be joined with Jaguars receiver Christian Kirk here on 1010XL. Man, it's great to see you. How you doing? Good to see you as well. I'm doing great. Just uh, enjoying the first day of camp. What a spectacular day. New facility, fans are out. What was this like? It was just awesome to see all the energy, have the fans out here. A lot different than last year. Um, but to, you know, being able to, to show this off, um, big shout out to everybody that, you know, had a hand in making this for us. And uh, just the, the quality of life and the energy has just gone up tremendously. And, you know, there's just a new spark and a new energy to come into this new season and uh, get to work in training camp. Yeah, absolutely. How was the break? Did you have uh, fun, get to do anything uh, enjoyable? Yeah, no doubt. It, the, the break was great. Um, I had the pleasure of heading out to Italy for the summer. Oh, sweet. And uh, that was just a blessing. It was a bucket list, you know, yeah. trip for me just to be able to see the world. And, um, you know, football is a product of that. And so it's just one of those moments where you kind of sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And so uh, just to be able to enjoy that with my fiance and, you know, to see that part of the world was a lot of fun. What cities did you visit? Uh, we went to uh, Florence, Tuscany, and uh, Rome, and then we went down to Capri and uh, Positano. So awesome. it was a it was a great trip. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, you guys looked super in sync for day one. Novice, op- you know, opinion obviously, but how did you feel like it went? Because it seemed like the passing game, you and Trevor and and the receivers were really in sync today. Yeah, I thought it was a very clean first day. Um, usually, especially on the first day, you have some operational errors, false starts, miss snaps. Um, you know, things of that nature. But I thought from assignment wise, we were great um, as a receiver group. I thought we did a great job making plays when they came our way, uh, being on the details. And, you know, obviously Trevor had a had a great day as well. So it's a good, good starting point. Um, you know, honestly, you kind of expect that from day one. You know, guys are fresh, fresh energy. So when we get into days 10, 11, 12, when it starts getting a little hot, guys are a little more tired and sore that you look for, you know, us to have a clean day. I always enjoy watching what you do post-practice. Can you kind of give listeners, particularly, you know, kids that might be playing the receiver position, what are some things that you focused on today, things that you like doing post-practice that you work on? Yeah, I like to get back to the basics. I think it's, for me, it's a key. Um, You know, we've been trained for so long uh, and so well, you know, things are muscle memory now, but you know, in transition, you can kind of lose some of that stuff. So just, you know, bringing my eyes to the ball, I do a lot of catching stuff, uh, you know, after practice, just bringing my eyes to the ball, focusing on keeping my eyes on it for two seconds after the catch and looking it to the tuck and putting my body in different positions to where I could be tracking the ball from. So it's just basics that, you know, I try to keep honing in, especially during training camp. So when the season comes around and there's a little less time, you know, I can, uh, you know, refer back to those and make sure those are sharp. Christian, how do you go about camp in terms of ramping things up, getting revved up, uh, you know, because there, there is such a long gap between today and September 10th when you guys go face the Colts. Yeah, you know, it's hard. Um, you know, me, myself, and I know a lot of guys are competitors. So from day one, you know, we just want to get out there and we want to full go and just let it rip. Uh, but it's hard because you also got to remind yourself, especially for the guys that are going to be out there on Sundays, um, to take it slow. You know, the, the, the whole point is to train your body and get your, your mental – capacity and your body right for Sundays uh, because that's the key and we also got to make it to hopefully February so it's just it's like a slow burn you know you get the work in as you can you be smart Um, you know you don't have to come out here and try to kill yourself Uh, and just you get efficient smart work and the coaches do a great job of you know make sure the reps are are what they are and keeping guys fresh but I think for me it's just keeping the end goal in mind and not uh, you know attacking it too fast. Doug was talking about how much he's appreciated your leadership and and everything that you've done, but particularly embracing Calvin. I saw, was that Calvin and his family that you got to say hey to? And what's that like having such a close friend now uh, joining the offense? It's great. Uh, It just makes, you know, coming to work and, and, you know, working with somebody else and for someone else because we work for one another. He's counting on me as much as I'm counting on him as long as all the other guys on our team, all 11 on the offense and, and so on. And so uh, having him and, you know, just that, that hunger and that motivation that he brings every day, you know, he's excited to be back out here. It's just a fresh sense of energy. And so it's a pleasure being able to, you know, grow our relationship even more. He spent some time down in Arizona with me. We trained all off season and, you know, now getting to know his family and his daughter, you know, that's what football is about. Um, because when it's all said and done, you want these friendships for life because you share special moments. So it's been great, you know, having him again to know him, you know, even more. From a distance, you hear things as a sports fan about, you know, there's a there's a difference between good teams and championship teams. And sometimes it's that the championship teams are player driven in terms of they're the, really the ones directing it. The coaches don't or are, are guides, but it's player led. Does this team have that potential? Do you think that this can be that kind of a team when it comes to the leadership component? 
Most definitely. You know, I, I think it does start with Doug, though. Uh, I think he sets the culture, he sets the tone, and he gives it to us. And, you know, if we don't want to do anything with it, um, you know, he'll, he'll definitely call you out for it. Uh, but it's not in an enforcing way. It's in a motivating way, and he knows that it works, and we've obviously seen that it works. And so I've had the pleasure of, you know, being on championship teams in high school, and, you know, you kind of hit it on the head. It was all player-driven. Um, you know, the coaches were just there to facilitate. The players held each other accountable, and so I definitely feel like we have that culture set here. Awesome. Christian Kirk, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck as camp progresses. Thank you.